Yo, what's going on guys? It's Premier here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are all having a beautiful and wonderful day. And today we're playing with something brand new, all right? Well, technically it's not brand new. It's not really even all that new, but a lot of people have just found out about this or started creating this class. As you guys know, in Modern Warfare with a lot of these weapons, you can kind of create different weapons with that one weapon. With the AK-47, you can create the AK-74U. You can create just a bunch of random other different shit. Last night while I was scrolling through Twitter, I ended up seeing a post from Sith Fluters and he ended up making the VKS from Call of Duty Ghost. In my head, I was like, you know what? There's technically another sniper in this game, all right? There's technically one extra sniper that we've never seen before. It would definitely be considered like a sniper in hardcore or some shit like that. It could kind of work as like a marksman rifle. So today we're going to be playing with the VKS in Modern Warfare. And this thing is actually kind of nice, man. I'm not going to lie. In hardcore, it's really nice. Death match. isn't really gonna be like a sniper that's gonna like compete with any of the other snipers in this game so yeah this vks isn't really gonna compete with like any of the snipers in this game it's not gonna compete with any of the marksmen either it's just something kind of fun and a little bit different so how you pretty much just create the vks in modern warfare you go all the way down to the odin assault rifle and then from there you pretty much just pick these attachments for it you can pick a different stock you can have more ammunition rear grip perks whatever the hell you really want to put on it i'm definitely gonna run stippled grip tape just because i can ads a little bit faster but uh let's actually take this into shoot house 24 7 and see what we can do with it now now, I'm not gonna say that the VKS was the best sniper in Ghost. This might be an unpopular opinion. I don't really know when it comes to like the sniping community and shit like that. To me personally, the VKS in Ghost was kind of dog shit. I actually think I did a worst sniper setup series on the VKS, which if you guys have been around on my channel for an extremely long time, you know about the old sniper setup series, which was one of my favorite series to do. It was just this whole entire series of me going through every single Call of Duty, picking the worst sniper in that series, and playing five games with it and seeing how many kills I got. That's some old school Premier Logic back then, man. That was before I was known as Premier. I was just known as Premier Logic. I don't know how many games I'm actually going to be using this thing in a regular lobby. I might have to switch it over to like a hardcore lobby. Just looking at this bad boy, man. It's kind of nice to have another sniper in this game. Yeah, it's not like the most ideal sniper rifle in the game or anything. It's nothing that you're gonna really want to run around and get extremely close up with people. I think it is also like a two-shot headshot or something like that. It's not like a one-shot headshot like the EBR. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go play some hardcore after this. This thing is just gonna excel in hardcore. But after creating this thing, I really want to hit a clip with it. I think that was one of the cooler things about having this back in the game or having the VKS in the game is just trying to hit a clip with it. Just because it's so different and it's not technically a sniper rifle. So if I could at least hit like a five on or a quad feed multi or some shit like that, I would actually use it in a mod. Montage. Bro, these fucking kids up here, man. They love their claymores. I wish we could have an inspect in this game, man. We are on the smallest map in modern warfare, yet you choose to be a punk little bitch and sit in a fucking room all game long, man. I love it. People are actually tossing C4s out here like they're tossing salads. I'm getting nervous for my own safety. When someone throws some C4 at you, it's like they're basically shitting all over your life. They hate you, all right? People that throw C4 are fucking scumbags. When someone throws C4 at you, they're technically thinking that they outsmarted the shit out of you. They're just using a broken-ass system that shouldn't exist in the game, being able to blow something up five seconds after they release it. I complain about C4 in this game. I think I've died by more stun grenades than C4 in this game so far, so it's not really a huge epidemic in my life right now. I'm currently terrified to move around quarters these days because kids are sitting there with stun grenades. If I die by another stun grenade, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, baby. It's a one-shot kill anywhere across the map. Yeah, this thing is actually nutty on hardcore. This thing is actually nice. This lobby ends up getting extremely aggressive, which I kind of hope it does. I know it's hardcore and a whole lot of people don't get super aggressive in hardcore. It's kind of like a more methodical game mode. This kid is so fucking mad. I love the fact that people are mad about this shit. Like, this gun is actually beast as fuck on hardcore. Them having this Harrier up in the air is definitely gonna hurt us. I know it's called the VTOL. Never actually heard anybody call the VTOL the VTOL. Everybody just calls it the Harrier. I'm leaving that lobby. That shit was hella annoying. I don't really play a whole lot of hardcore. People that actually play hardcore all day long are a different type of fucking human. The only time that I actually played a whole lot of hardcore was when I was getting my EBR kills. I wonder if the brand new map is in hardcore. I actually haven't even played on the brand new map unless I'm in the 24-7 playlist. I've been sitting here for a solid five minutes trying to think of like a good analogy for hardcore compared to core, and I actually just can't think of one. I mean, hardcore is just hardcore, man. It's hard as shit. They got C flag. You know, it's time for that quad feed. It's time for that multi with this bad boy. And that's why we don't hit clips in Call of Duty. Well, 
And of course, there fucking Brock Lesnar sitting there waiting for me, about ready to knock my fucking block off. I don't care how long this shit actually takes me. We're hitting a clip with this VKS. Every time I got some Pizzoli headass motherfucker staring down scope waiting for me to walk around a corner. But yeah, I've had a lot of you guys ask me to play hardcore, which I don't really know why you guys have asked me to play hardcore. It's probably just because I get really irritated at Call of Duty normally, and in hardcore, I'm probably gonna get way more irritated. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going down that road. Yo, there's like a solid inch of snow outside right now. The worst thing about winter is I drive a car to work, so every single time it snows or like the road is a little bit icy, I'm terrified for my life. If you guys play a lot of hardcore, let me know what like the best game mode is to play where people are moving around a lot. Head Headquarters actually might be a decent game mode. The only thing about headquarters that I don't like is I have to kind of like wait to respawn after we get the headquarters. If I hit a quad feed on my teammates, does that count as a quad? Bro, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. I just don't know if I can imagine playing Call of Duty where I sit in a fucking corner the entire time. I wanna know if this guy's still chilling back here. I swear he probably is. I'm so fucking disappointed in this game, dude. I'm so disappointed in this player base. When this game becomes 10 years old, I'm gonna look back at this game and remember that people just sat in fucking corners all the time. So yeah, what other weapons have you guys found or seen in this game? What other weapons have you guys made and created and everything like that? If there is any other, like, secret snipers in this game, I definitely want to make them. I definitely want to at least try them out. I know that technically the 725 shotgun is kind of like a sniper rifle. It's definitely cool and really interesting to have all these, like, secret weapons. In yesterday's video, I forgot to completely mention this because I didn't really realize it until later on in the day. But I guess, like, all the progression tracking is now working 100% correctly. All your camo challenges and just like your regular challenges to unlock like certain variants of weapons and stuff. I guess all that stuff is now working 100% fine. Imagine if I ended up hitting the Piccadilly triple in hardcore with a VKS. I would never let myself down. No, take this from me, game. I said this in yesterday's video, but Piccadilly was like the easiest map to hit clips in. And now it just feels like they swap out of their spawns so quickly. That's multiple times now that I've actually missed a quad feed with this thing. I would have already hit a quad feed in this game if people didn't sit in that room right there. Yeah, I definitely missed it when they spawned at the back of C over there. I just have no idea where people are actually spawning on this map anymore. I have no clue where people are coming from. Also, the only good thing about this entire map, yeah, the spawn trap was broken as fuck and it needed to change for sure. I don't hate the way these spawns are, it's just they were so much better before. Oh, don't blue ball me again. Come on, man. But anyway, that was the VKS in Modern Warfare. It's a lot of fun on hardcore, even though it is kind of difficult to use. It's still really fun. I think with maybe tonight, I'll play with it a little bit and try to see if I can hit at least a quad feed or a five on or some shit like that. If you guys do want to try this class out, all you have to do is get the Odin and then level it all the way up to like level 39, I think it is. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support recently. I think we're like maybe nine subscribers away from 700 subscribers. That's just absolutely insane. And I've said this every video, but thank you guys so much for all the support recently. If you enjoyed the content today, leave a like. If you're brand new, subscribe because it always helps me out. And uh, yeah, if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, leave pineapple down in the comment section. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, my blood apply.